Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we are going to discuss what is Wireshark and how we can use Wireshark. Without any further ado, let us start the video, guys. Wireshark is an open source tool for profiling network traffic and analyzing packets. So it is also a tool referred to network analyzer, network protocol analyzer, or sniffer. Okay. For that, guys, let us download Wireshark first. Okay. Go to Google and type Wireshark download. Okay. So the first website we'll get will download Wireshark. Click on that and try to click for Windows X4 installer. Install the Wireshark. So it is 75 MB. It will take a little bit of time. So once Wireshark gets downloaded, double click it and try to install this software. So now click on next. Lesson agreement noted. Just read that. Click on next. You need Wireshark. Everything you need. Click on next. In the startup menu. If you want to keep, you can keep. Or associate. If you don't want to keep, that's fine. Click on next. So install and cap etc. Install that also. So now, so installation will take a little bit of time. Just wait for it. So now, click on agree. Click on install. So as you can see, we have uh, completed this. Click on next. Yeah. Click on finish. Meanwhile, let uh, Wireshark complete the uh, setup. The Wireshark got completed. Click. Let me click on next. So let me click on finish. So let me launch Wireshark. Click on Wireshark. Run command. You will see the interface of the Wireshark. How it is. Now this is the interface of the Wireshark. Let me expand this. Now we have Ethernet. We have adapter for the loop. Let me. Uh, so, so what exactly it is saying? So you are connected to the Ethernet, and the packets of information is flowing inside the Ethernet itself. Now, if you want to see what and all packets are there flowing in the Internet, you can see on the left uh, top corner. You can see start capturing packets. Click on that. So now you can see it is started to capturing packets. Okay. Now. You you can see this protocol TCP is there, SSDP is there. So some more protocols are being captured. And if you want to filter it, if you want only one protocol, you can add TCP and click on enter. Now only TCP protocols will be there. Okay. So now I'll show you one scenario where. So I'm trying to click on login test. Okay. So this is an insecure website. So it's just a testing website. So not need to worry about that. So I'm just adding admin one one, and just as password as admin. So I'll click on login here. So it will give me a message that username you have entered not exist. Okay. So now I can actually search that. So I can use a filter. You can filter with HTTP. Click on enter. So this is the form we we have seen. Okay. Right click on the top one. You can navigate to follow. You can go to HTTP stream. Now you can see the verb here. This is the website you have visited. Thing which you have got. Sorry, but your username does not exist. That's how you can easily uh, get the packets of information. What exactly you have passed? Okay. So now, if you want to exactly see what is the destination, you can stream with the destination also. See here, TCP stream equals thirteen. Now click on this. Now in the in the bottom, see this is the garbage data. So this is the additional information which we have got. Okay. So if it is read right, it is not finding it. So here you can see the item what we have entered admin one one, and the text we have got admin. Okay. So these are the few things which we can see from the Wireshark guys. So this is the open source where we can capture the packets. If you want to stop the capturing the packets, click on stop capturing the packets. It will stop. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you are new here, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.